So in this video, I've removed all context from the problem, just so we can go straight into a question to see how it works. So what we have is a population that is normally distributed with a mean of 50 and a variance of 9. I'm going to take samples of size 4, okay, and find the mean of each of those, and then they are going to be distributed normally, okay, um, with a mean that's going to be the same as the 50 from the population, and a variance that is going to be smaller because of taking size samples of size 4, they're going to be more consistent, okay? Find the probability that I take a sample of size 4 that the mean of that sample is less than 52. That's what this question's asking, okay? So, how do we do that? So, first of all, uh, we want to think about, right, what will the sample mean distribution be? It's normally distributed. The mean will be the same. The variance is 9 divided by the sample size, so 9 over 4. Then find the probability that x bar is less than 52. OK, so let's draw a diagram. Here's my mean at 50. Here's 52. Find the probability that it is less than that. OK, so that area there. So we're going to need our formula. Z equals x minus mu over sigma. But remember, now we're using sample means. We aren't using sigma. We're not using the standard deviation. We're using something called the standard error, which is the square root of this here. So that is sigma over root n. So we are going to utilize this formula here. You shouldn't get too pent up about that. Um, really, you just want to think about it as using the same old formula, uh, using the tables, but uh, you need to just do the square root of this value here. OK, so three halves. So what is my z value? So my z value is equal to my x value, 52. Take away my mean, divided by the standard error, which is 3 over 2, the square root of 9 quarters. OK, so let's work that out. So on the top, we've got 2, and we're dividing that by 3 halves. And so we get 4 thirds. So that is my z value. So that's 1.3 recurring. OK. So from the tables, what I now need to do is find 1.3 recurring. The problem is that 1.3 recurring isn't there. So I've got to just try and get as close to the value as I possibly can. So 1.33 I can get to, which is 0.90824. So uh, 0.9, so the probability of x bar being less than 52 is going to be 0.90824. OK, and that's me looking at 1.33 in the tables. OK, and so that is the probability uh, that I would need. OK, so that seems fairly reasonable because if I take a sample of size 4, then I would expect through averaging that the probability of getting less than 52 would be quite large um, because, remember, the standard deviation of the population was only 3. OK, so it's been shrunk down to uh, 3 over 2, 1.5, because of taking sample size 4, which has compacted it in. OK, that's why we're getting a fairly large probability here. 